No one has ever seen this side of you before. And you're about to even shock yourself with the way that you devour or the way that you become a savage when it comes to reaching and achieving the things you were meant to achieve. Some of y'all are about to go so hard that people will not recognize you. You won't even recognize yourself, but you're going to be so busy making things happen that you won't even have time to look at yourself. But by the time you look up, you will be so far ahead that you won't even remember the person that you used to be. Now, for some of you guys, you are becoming a savage. You about to tear stuff up in one rip. Imagine this black panther. This is you. This is the other side of you that people never seen before. You about to reach a certain level of determination that anything that get in your way is getting tore to shred. That include enemies, haters, obstacles, trials, tribulations. You're going to be tearing them up and ripping them to shreds and getting them out of your way because nothing is going to stop you from getting where you're supposed to be. You dig? So we're going to be jumping into these vibes to see what this other side of you is and why are you becoming this savage? All right. First card up. Oh, the wheel of fortune. Well, that's because something shifted. I know you felt it in the atmosphere, but you're about to see it in your tangible reality. Something has shifted. It put you in a new position and you got every right to be a savage. You got every right to dig your teeth and your nails into the opportunities that are coming into a uh, different, again, challenges, trials, tribulations. It's like you got this backing inside of you or this knowing or this inner animal inside of you because of some news, some information or the way your life is about to change. So this wheel of fortune is talking about you changing because your season has changed. You changing because the dynamics of your life has changed. People are going to say, oh my God, collective, you've changed. But let me tell you something. They not going to have a boss to say it to your face because if they do, they're going to have to say it to that Black Panther and they don't want to get ripped to shreds. So they're going to keep that little thought to themselves, or they might politely say it behind your back to other people, but to your face, they wouldn't dare. Now, the Wheel of Fortune again is talking about things going in your favor. Your season has changed and now you have to be this black panther you don't have a choice okay let's see what's going on behind the scenes that you don't know yet oh the six of cups okay your past is something about your past being rewritten or your past is exactly why this wheel of fortune is coming to you but let me clarify right away what about your past that you don't know oh five of cups well mm -hmm. people salty and sorry now, of course, this could be an ex, ex-friends, but it's rewriting the past. What's happening for you is almost as if there was, it was a dream of you and a partner's, like you or a partner had this dream. You're about to live someone else's wildest dream. Someone from your past may have spoken about this opportunity that's about to happen. And you may have just thought, oh, they were just speaking about this opportunity, never knowing that it would be you. Okay, so some of you guys are about to live an ex's wildest dream. And this can even just be people from the past uh, thinking that you're sad, you're sorry, you're down and you're out. But then all of a sudden they see this other side of you and they're completely shocked and it's leaving people sad. So this new side of you, this more brighter, probably a, a richer side of you, a more talented side of you, right? All of these things are coming out. And what you can't see is that people from the past are salty and sorry about this huge change and that they're not in this new reality with you. Also, I'm getting people are sorry for the way that they treated you. Now, this is interesting because I was getting this revelation on the other day. Um, when someone thought they were like the chosen one. They thought they were it. They were on. They had always been popular. They had always had the great job, always had the money, always had the best mates and all these great, wonderful things. When they thought they had it, they showed you how they would treat you. They would leave you out. They would ostracize you. They would pretend like you're not there. They would, they would treat you bad. They would talk about you like a dog. They would turn their back to you. 
But then one day they turn around and they see you're the Black Panther. You're the chosen one. You're the one that God picked up. And now they want to be a part of that. But remember, they already showed you how they would treat you if they thought it was them. They would ice you out. So you remember that when they come crawling back. But believe me, when they come crawling back, they're not going to look all smooth and suave like a Black Panther crawling back. Okay? So, and, and I don't know who this is for. I need to tell you, remind you, remember what they made you feel like. I, I forget which poem it was or who said it, Maya Angelou or somebody like that. Say, People may not remember what you said, but they remember what you made them feel feel like so you remember how they made you feel I don't care about no tears and no sad face and how sorry and regretful you already made your bed baby you lay in it by yourself and you see how this girl sitting up there in that bed with her arms folded you unfold your arms get out their bed and keep it moving okay so let us see what's the good thing the positive thing the high vibrational thing about this energy oh the seven of cups wow now this is interesting because I Shuffled these cards about 150 times and they all came out in order. And there was no way that these were in order. Like as far as like me setting them up this way, this all came out like this on its own. We have the five, the six and the seven. There is a lot of progression happening in your life. You are making so much progress. Now the seven of cups is talking about having options, but also you may be confused about what to do next. But for some of y'all, you need to be assured that no matter what situation you walk into, you got the proper tools. Okay. You are clearing up a lot of confusion in your life by simply standing up for yourself, doing everything that you know you're supposed to do and moving in the direction that you're supposed to move in. For some of you guys, that's your key answer. It's like until you know specifically what to do, do what you can do. Do what you know you're supposed to do and other things will come along. Now, some of y'all are about to be put in a situation or you're about to attract a major opportunity where you're going to have to show this other side of yourself. You're going to have to unleash when it comes to your talent, but you're afraid. Now, the seven of cups talks about this person going to a ball. So, of course, they're going to pick to wear the heels, but they put those gym shoes in their bag just in case they feet hurt. Now, when they got to this banquet, it turns out it was a sneaker ball. So you show up wearing heels like, oh, no. But guess what? You already had another pair of gym shoes in the car or in your purse. So you put them on and you were fit for the occasion. So some way, somehow you're going to be ready. I don't know who that's for, but take your leap of faith because you got what you need. Now, what's on the low vibrational end? What's the thing you need to watch out for? Mm, the Empress. All right. Once you step into this new side, once you show this new side, that is like your top notch self. That is the self from now on people are going to want to see. I mean, she was Onika Tanya Mirage. And then one day she was Nicki Minaj and that was it. So some of you guys are about to step into a role where once you step into that role, once people see that Black Panther in you, once you unleash and show this other side, that's it. That is it. You will forever be that person. Are you ready to step into that role? That's the thing. You get ready to be crowned as like literally the best of the best and be able to hold down that title. All right. And everything that comes with it. Because the Empress, that can also make you a target. But you as the Empress with never be worried about that because again they're not coming at you as the empress they're coming at that panther all right let's see the next seven days as it pertains to this energy for the collective oh the nine of swords okay well somebody's gonna be wrapped up in their head real bad okay somebody's gonna have some anxiety some stress this new side of you is gonna stress people out you want to know why though because you might know a lot of people's secrets or you might hold a lot of information or people have done things to you that now that information is literally a weapon. 
The information that you hold is literally a thorn in other people's side. And the position that God is getting ready to put you in is going to stress people out. Oh, okay. Remember five of cups when I was telling you people remember how they treated you? Okay. They didn't know in the future, the information of how they used to treat you. That's a weapon now. That's something that's to your advantage now because they don't know at any given moment that black panther can come out and bite them and devour them. Some of y'all get up and you tell your truth one time and that person will be devoured. Okay. Some of y'all had some things happen to you. Some inappropriate things happened to you when you was a child, when you was young, maybe the way people adults treated you or, or did you or, or did things they shouldn't have did. And you need to know not only are people salty and sorry, but they are anxious and they are stressed because the information that you carry can shut people down. Some of y'all carry information that can shut down corporations. And this is a whole nother side of you that you never even knew because some of y'all didn't even know that the information you carry can be used as a weapon now. Let us see what's on the bottom of the deck that you don't know. Or not that you don't know, but what's just on the bottom of the deck. The Knight of Wands going in and out of worlds. You're about to start traveling. There's a lot of about to be a lot of movement. You see how this Black Panther is right here? That Black Panther ain't stand still all the time. That Black Panther moves. And when it moves, it moves fast and strategically. And the instincts of this Black Panther is another one of the benefits that you're about to get or one of the abilities you're about to receive. The natural instincts of what to do who to avoid, and who to devour. But again, I keep feeling the need to stress to you guys that this change in your life, whatever platform, whatever microphone, whatever it is that God has given you, it's going to, like some people thought, oh, well, I just get away with doing anything that I've done or, you know, I'll get over it and I'll pray before God, just let it sweep under the rug. Not realizing that 5, 10, 15, 20 years later, it will come back into play because the same person you treated like crap or the same person you did things to, you shouldn't have. Now that person is grown. They got a microphone and they are not afraid to use it. You know what I mean? So be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. So that's what we get. Uh, make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Head on over to Patreon for more content. Follow my other social medias. Get in the comment section. Let me know how this message resonated with you. And I'll see y'all in the next one.